Hi everyone, my name is Sébastien Legre. I am the creator and founder of Legree Fitness. Today I want to talk about the micro springs. So many of you have emailed us and have asked us, you know, what is the weight equivalence of the springs? Legree doesn't quite work like this, but I'm going to give you the weight equivalence. When you buy the micro, you're going to have four springs, four springs of different colors. You're going to have a white spring, a black spring, a gray spring, and a red spring. The white spring is going to be your super light spring. Your black spring is going to be a medium spring. Your gray spring is going to be a medium heavy spring. And then you have the heavier spring, which is the red spring. So what is the weight equivalence? Very simple. I'm going to attach the carriage. Now the carriage over here is about 15 pounds. Okay. And then it's going to be very important for the demonstration. We are hanging the micro vertically. So I'm going to attach the white spring. And then you're going to see that as I'm letting go of the carriage, it goes straight down to the bottom. Why? because the white spring is simply not strong enough to support the weight of the carriage. So the white spring is this. When you move the carriage to position number one, when you align the ring of fire with number one, you're gonna get one pound of resistance, like lifting a one pound dumbbell, super light. When you move the carriage all the way to the end at the full extension, you're gonna get six pounds of tension. So these springs over here fluctuate from one to six pounds. It's gonna have a range of five pounds. So depending on where you move the carriage back and forth over here, you'll get between one to six pounds of tension. So it's super light. The reason that I created the white spring is to do all the pulling exercise on the back of the machine. So if you like to do express lunge, if you like to do reverse standing on the thighs, the fifth lunge, if you like to do the reverse giant bear, the reverse giant wheelbarrow, all this exercise on the back of the machine and you're doing it for the first time, I recommend to use the white spring. It's going to give you the least amount of resistance. Because remember that the springs is the eighth magic key. It's the last key. This is the last thing that we change when we want to get stronger. Because we never compromise form. We never compromise range of motion. We never compromise tempo or duration because of the springs. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit later in the video. So your white spring goes from one to six pounds. Now let's see what the black spring does. So the black spring is essentially twice the black spring because at position number one, it's going to give you two and a half pounds. But when you move the carriage all the way to the bottom, and now you can already see that the carriage is getting a little lighter compared to when I had the white spring on. So now the carriage all the way at full extension is going to give you 12 and a half pound of tension. So essentially, Essentially, the black spring is two white spring. The black spring is good. For example, you've been doing now the reverse giant wheelbarrow. You've been doing the pulling exercise on the back of the machine for a while. And you feel like you get a fair amount of control. You feel like you have a good range of motion. Your alignment is good. Now you want to basically go to the next level. You're going to go from a white to a black spring. But remember that when you do exercise like the express lunge or the fifth lunge, if you use a black spring and you feel like it's compromising your form, you have to go back to a white spring, okay? Because you do not want to compromise your form. You do not want to compromise your range of motion because you have a heavier spring. Form, range of motion, tempo, duration always prevail over the springs. So the black spring is twice the amount of the white spring. The black spring is a good spring to also use on the front of the machine. So for example, when you do your elevator lunge, when you do your floor lunge, the black spring is a very good spring to help you to support your body weight against gravity. Now we're going to go on the gray spring. So the gray spring is the first, is the light, is the medium heavy or is the light heavy spring, okay? So the gray spring, I'm going to attach it over here. So the gray spring already, look what happens to the carriage. Now the carriage is not going all the way down because the carriage is only 15 pounds, but the gray spring is actually stronger than 15 pounds. If we position the carriage to position level number one, you're going to get about seven and a half pound of tension. When you move the carriage all the way down or all the way out, you're going to get 37 and a half pound of tension. So that's a 30 pound increase from position number one to full extension. So essentially, the gray spring is three times the black spring and six times the white spring. The gray spring is a great alternative to the red spring because the red spring is our heaviest spring. And I'm going to attach the red spring and look, it's barely moving now. The gray spring was about over here. Both the white and the black went all the way down. Why is that? because the red is even stronger. So even you'll notice it when you look at the springs and when you start to hold the spring in your hands, you'll see the white spring feels like a noodle. You can hold it like this, but the red spring will stay rigid, you know, because it has a, it has a heavier uh, and a thicker coil. The red spring at position number one is gonna give you 10 pound of tension. So almost like when you, when you start basically your, let's say you do a skating and you start to push the carriage, right away you start at 10 pound. And as you continue to press the carriage out, you're gonna go all the way to 70 pounds. The red spring gives you an incredible range of tension from 10 to 70 pounds. It has a 60 pound fluctuation. So this is the greatest fluctuation. The gray and the red spring are very similar at position number one, 
because we get for the gray spring seven and a half pound of tension at level one, but we get 10 pounds for the red spring. But the difference is when you start to push the carriage out, the red spring rapidly build tension. And then again, at full extension, now the red spring is twice the strength as a gray spring. How do we use all of that stuff? Well, the heavy spring, the red spring, is essentially for all the pushing exercise. So if you do a runner's lunge, a runner's lunge number two, a skating exercise, a mega donkey kick, a spider kick, and so on. So you put the red spring on and you realize, oh, you can't really push a carriage. You feel like you're starting out and you can't really push the carriage. You feel like you don't have enough range of motion. No problem, you take off the red, and you put a gray spring instead. And you'll feel that the gray spring is gonna give you less tension gradually, so it's gonna be easier for you to move the carriage. Now you realize you put the gray spring, you feel, ah, now it feels like a little too light. No problem, you go back to your light spring, and now you'll go in increments. So if you feel like you need a little bit more, you'll put the white spring, or a little bit more, you'll put the black spring. Or you can put the white and the black spring, because essentially, the white and the black spring is half a gray spring, yes. So if you feel you need something in between the gray and the red, you may have to put one white and one black spring. Two black spring is two thirds of a gray spring. And now it's getting a little complicated, right? So that's why I don't really want you to equate the numbers, you know, the pounding in the poundage, you know, in your mind. I want you to really focus on the feeling. And essentially when you do an exercise, the resistance should be challenging but it should allow you to keep good form, good body alignment. It should allow you to do the range of motion that you need. And it also should allow you to control the movements. So you can do it slow enough and long enough. In the, uh, the classes on Agree On Demand, you'll see that we give spring recommendation and we'll say maybe a white spring, a black spring, and a red spring. It's really up to you. It's, you know, we, you should not be doing the same exercise with the same springs all the time. The idea with a spring, just like in weightlifting, is to use the progressive overloading principle and is to add a little bit more tension gradually. So for example, when you do a pushing exercise on the front of the machine, let's say a skating, and let's say you cannot do a red spring, you do a gray spring, no problem. But after a while, the gray spring is gonna to feel too easy and then you'll start to work your way up to a red spring. And the way you're gonna do that is you'll do a gray and a white spring. And then you do your exercises for a while, I don't know how many sessions you're gonna do. Then once it starts to feel easier, you'll go from a gray to a black spring, and then you'll do a gray, black, and white, and then you'll graduate to the red spring. And that's how you kind of do your progressive overloading for the pushing exercises. Once you've mastered the red spring, you start the whole process again. You'll do a red spring and a white spring, and then the red spring and a black spring, and then the red spring and a white and a black spring, and then you'll do a gray spring and a gray spring, and then so on. That's how you gradually increase the tension. For the exercise, for the pulling exercise done on the front of the machine, it actually goes the other way around. Because remember, when you do a pulling exercise on the front of the machine, the less tension you have, the harder it becomes. So for example, I do an elevator lunge on the front, and I use a black spring, and I get some support, and now I want to make it even harder, more difficult, right? So I'll go from black spring to a white spring, and then, I want to make it super difficult, I have to do it without the spring. Now, training without the spring is not something that we encourage on the Mega and on Evo, even the Mini Pro. But if you are on the Micro, on the Mini, you can actually work out without the spring. So the, without working out without the springs will be the most difficult, the most challenging way to do the exercise on the front of the Micro. Because when you do pulling exercise, not pushing exercise, pulling exercise done on the front of the micro, where you can see the micro form over here. In order for this exercise to be more difficult, you need less tension. But if you do pushing exercise on the front of the micro, it's the opposite. The more tension you have, the more difficult it becomes. You will feel that anyway when you start to do the exercise and you start using the micro. When you do exercise on the back of the micro, right over here, so right now we, we didn't put a uh, platform on the back, but number four, right? You cannot do pushing exercise on the back of, of the micro, so you can only do pulling exercise. So we have pulling exercise on the front and pulling exercise on the back. The pulling exercise on the back work very simply. They work exactly like the pushing exercise on the front, the more springs you have, the more difficult it is. So you're gonna start with a white spring when you do exercise on the back. If you do the exercise on the back without any spring, there's no difference in doing putting exercise on the front of the micro without spring. So if you don't have springs at all, whether you're on the front or on the back, does not matter. But if now if you do the exercise on the back end and you have, you're gonna start the white spring. If this is the first time you're doing Legree on the micro, every exercise you do on the back will be done with a white spring. If you don't have a white spring, I highly recommend you to do so because it's gonna transform. That white spring is gonna be so light that it's gonna allow you to keep perfect form and perfect range of motion and really allow you to go slow and long enough. 
So you're gonna start the wide spring. Let's say you do a reverse giant wheelbarrow, one wide spring. After a while, you're gonna feel like you have a good control over the exercise. You're gonna feel that your body alignment is coming together. You're gonna to feel the you'll be able to slow down the exercise in two to four minutes. So once you have felt this, then you can go to a black spring. By the way, there's no need to buy a second white spring because essentially the black spring is really two white springs. So then you're gonna to go to a black spring and then you'll do the same exercise again because that is part of the progressive overloading. So now you do the same exercise, the same way, slower, more control, longer, and now you have a black spring. Once you have mastered this at the black spring, you're not gonna to go to a gray spring right away. What are you gonna do? You're gonna to go to a black and a white spring because the black and a white spring is half the gray. That's correct. So then you do the same exercise again with a black and a white spring. Once you have mastered the exercise with the black and the white spring, when I say master, I means that you're doing the exercise perfectly, perfect body alignment, you have the perfect range of motion, you're doing very slowly, you're doing for at least a minute. So now you can go to a black and a white spring. The next step after that is not the gray spring. You're gonna put two black springs. So if you wanna put two black springs, you can buy an additional black spring if you want to, or you can try to use a gray spring. And so that's essentially how you're gonna use the springs. In the future, we will have biofeedback, we will have little screens and little display that tells you exactly the spring poundage. You don't need that. You, all you need to do is to understand how the springs are working and really how to change the springs over time in order to continue challenging your body. So there you go. So this is the info about the springs and the weight equivalents. If you have any questions about this subject, always you can ask us, you can click on Ask Seb, you can email us, info at Agri Fitness. Again, my name is Sebastian Agri. Thank you for watching.